Thank you. It's my honor to visit NTU Postmaster Club. I think some years ago I also visited Postmaster Club. I think that's the one of my best mem memory or experience for campus Postmaster meetings. Today I enjoy the meeting. As I agree with my young, it's a good quality of meeting. I also thank my young's advice. We should pay attention to enunciation. Enunciation is also my problem when I speak in English, so I've been charged by our English instructor to slow down my speech or slow down my speaking and also try to pronounce every word to make it very clearly. Perhaps I, I can walk around. I suggest that when we speak in English, we try to walk around, to try to have eye contact with the audience. I think that will slow down your pace. So, good advice. Also, it's, it's good to serve general environment because our language environment already done the feedback on grammar or word usage, so I won't be correct, corrected by our LE. And <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a cold joke, sorry, so it's a cold joke. Because uh, I, I work in accounting firm, so I'm always very serious, so please forgive me my seriousness. <laughs> I, as I suggest by somebody, because uh, we checked the list of officers, we didn't see the sergeant of arms. The sergeant of arms is quite important. So sergeant of arms can kick off the meet. Also, when the speaker want to use laptop or computers, the sergeant of arms can help to set up the computers. Then the postmaster of the evening can still do the job when the sergeant of arms. We have good brain. So I believe, I trust, you can memorize the script at all, because it's a small piece of paper. So I would suggest that try to memorize those script when you do your all counter all timers and use your own words to explain to, to, to the all the audience. Otherwise you will look down to your script and without any eye contact to the audience. So that means the audience let the audience feel that you're reading something. Do not explain the rules to the audience. So you are ATU student, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Also. Yes, yes. <laughs> and I would thank our Toastmaster that even in today, they did one more job from the beginning and to the end. So when the speeches or variety session, I always observe the Toastmaster of the evening working very hard, trying to pre prepare the next section. So give a big applause to the I also heard this beautiful girl, pretty girl, just joined Postmaster this semester. So can you tell she just joined Postmaster? You see, we, we didn't feel he's a new member of this Postmaster. So I think that's the spirit of the Postmaster of community and club. Learning by doing. Yes, learning by doing. No matter how long you join Postmaster, no matter when you join Postmaster, when you call up to pick up, pick up the speeches or pick up the assignment, be brave, be courage. Because I, I heard today there's the CEO, Stephen Chen, right? He had the courage to realize the dream. And he, when and he doing the speeches, I, I, I felt, I felt the energy, the power. He want to run up the company. And he dare to dream big. So I think Stephen can summarize your speech. Dare to dream big and try to realize. Trust yourself. I think maybe that can conclude your speech. Because I think you sharing your milestone, your roadmap, and with a passion, maybe you can also share the story when you confuse, when you facing difficulties, and how you overcome that difficulty, how you stand up again. Continue your passion, continue your goal. I think that's some story we want to hear too. But you shared a good, successful story. That's very impressive. And also, I think the second speaker is a good storyteller. So I think you have a skill to tell a good story. Try to use your voice and your body and your emotion to influence, to influence all the audience, to image what situation you are you're trapped in. A, a, mystery room and try to escape. So perhaps you can give us some inter the background, why you try 
that escape game? And what lesson you learn from this escape game? And what we, how we can apply that escape skills in our real life or in our school life? But still, you're a good storyteller. And what else? Oh, okay, okay. Stephen Chen, I think you, you stay, when you're doing your speech, you stand it up right here, because I, I know you, you don't want to, you didn't want to hide the, the PowerPoint slides, but maybe you also try to, next time you can try to also speak to the people sitting right here, because we're I mean, always watching your backs. I know you have strong back, like beautiful backs, but we want to see your front face. And you also, maybe you can try more eye contact to the audience, and make audience feel your passion, feel your power. And I agree with the, the Indian, uh, individual environment today, because I think one of the individual IEs just did the C1 speech, but still gave the good feedback. But I would suggest that we should have the experience, more experienced speakers to serve the IE, or you can call, call for help. If you don't have enough experienced members, you can call up EYT postmaster members, or you can call up my young to serve, or you can call up the other class in other individual, or NCCU or TMU class to help. So you can learn each other, not just within your club members, you can see the different angles from other class members. I think overall I enjoyed the meeting today. I hope to come back again and to see the progress with the Postmaster passion, because I also joined Postmaster uh, with the young students, because I always feel an energy and passion from the students. Because when look back my university life, I didn't dare to join Postmaster, or there's no Postmaster at our university, but you're so lucky. You have Postmaster club in NPU, so try to use that opportunity, try to speak up. Every time when the president or officer call you up, Right here, to stand on the stage. So that's my feedback. Thank you, thank you.